Guys, we are doing another giveaway. We're calling it 400 for Thanksgiving. This is gonna be sponsored by safetyauditprep.com. Be in our live on November 24th, the day after Thanksgiving, and look for those five keywords. So Friday begins. Let's get to work. Pick it up, deliver it in the morning. We are loaded up, getting over a lane. I don't know what's going on there, but they have both lanes blocked. Okay. Thank you, Silverado, for getting over for us. And we're almost out. We'll get some sleep and get back to it tomorrow. Good morning, Tiki Tiki. Hi, huh, buddy. Where's your crazy friend? Hmm. Oh, he's going to the bathroom. Good boy. Good boy. Uh oh. Even that he does crazy. I love you, buddy. I'll be back in a little bit, okay? Oh, it's Friday. It's Friday. Bye, Murphy. Seems like not that long ago we were hanging at the pool. Still a beautiful morning. It's gotta be in the 50s. But not the 60s. There's the pool. Let's take a walk on the wild side over to the truck. All the cows are just sleeping. This is how I used, I think uh, South Carolina probably used to be before everybody moved in like me. I pray that they keep that property for a while, but I guarantee they're gonna probably develop it at some point because it's prime real estate. I just pray they don't build more houses, maybe a strip mall, some shopping, but <laughs> how long has this been here, right? Just an old structure. Just old cattle farmer, had some cows doing their thing and everybody moved in around them. Oh man. I mean, they're still actively farming and they have one little house there but i don't see many people ever around so i don't know if whoever was there passed or their grandson or son or somebody or daughter is taking it over but definitely a prime real estate that's the road that goes to my development right there and then the park that has the amphitheaters back on the other side oh yeah all right beautiful morning wearing a t-shirt and jeans i think it's a high of 79 Woo. Let's get to that truck, fire up. The trash truck in effect. Got a buddy here with a dry van. And there she is, sitting pretty. And I really wish all shippers and receivers would do that. Or they leave an extra bit of asphalt on both sides. Plus huge lanes in between to get in and out. Uh, just for people that want to sleep overnight. If they did that for everywhere, man, how much cooler would trucking be? But I mean, some places have a lot of people coming there but if they just thought like that that'd be cool we'll take what we can get though we're just grateful that across the street they did that <laughs> all right uh different kind of clouds this morning just kind of wispy a couple ones shooting up oh yeah let's get to our exit shoot over to the dump Beautiful sun is peeking up behind the Walmart distribution center. Oh, it's gorgeous. God's grace again. Grateful to be alive. Grateful to be working. Grateful for health and happiness within my family. So, gonna have a good Thanksgiving. I'm sad my mom couldn't come out. Uh, she has some some eyesight problems. She's having a what's it called LASIK, I think, the surgery. She thought she didn't need it, but she actually does. So, can't, can't drive for long distances. And my aunt was gonna come with her, but she just got back from visiting my grandpa in Dallas, Texas area. So she was a little tired, I get it. So we'll figure out something else to do tomorrow. Maybe go up to the mountains or something, or maybe to the beach, who knows? If it's not too windy, I don't know. Quick trip out there, but not actually getting water because it's cold. But our lake is rented again, so they come in today. I think Clemson is playing North Carolina on set tomorrow, so. Yeah, we've got to rent it for the whole, the whole week and the whole month of November, so that's great. It helps with uh, paying for it, so that's awesome. The beautiful sun. Uh, let's get over uh, to the dump for the first one of the day. Made it past.
Yeah, speed bump, bro. Get on the scale. I am kind of researching clutches a little bit for the Camaro. And uh, have you ever guys ever heard of Uni Clutch? It's a kind of a really cool concept. It, you don't have to uh, surface your flywheel, and your flywheel is infinitely going to be used now, unless it's like a billet one or something that has to be replaced every time. But it's a really cool concept. They're made in Australia and Melbourne. Uni Clutch, U N I. So that might be uh, something that we're going for. I don't know. We're going to see. Let's get on up here. I'm trying to get here before, after the morning rush, but before the water truck. Because <laughs> the water truck makes it so muddy in the morning, and he usually comes out about 8 o'clock. So it's 7.35. We're going to get on the scale. and uh, But that morning, 6 a.m., they, uh, they people that are here in the beginning, they such a line of seven to eight trucks. So you got to wait for all them to get going, wait for the office to get going. So... Let's just do it this way. Get on the scale. We really need to grade that ramp again. They got all the bobcats and everything over there. Throw some more gravel down. So it's also bumpy. 63 degrees this morning. And let's pray no trucks go by so we can uh, hear the intercom. Music plan. Okay. That's the old FLD. Good morning. Customer 333-624. Profile 6325. 256-9938. Uh, All right, thank you. All right, let's get going. It's the longest I've ever sat there kind of waiting to hear, hear something. But uh, luckily no truck's going by. If anybody's going by or someone's got their truck turned on right next to you, you can't really hear that intercom. <laughs> so I'm glad that we, uh, we made it through. Made it through the intercom. Let's get on the, on the tipper. He just got done dumping his dirt. And we're headed straight into the sun. Loaded up some more dirt to bring it up here. And it just dropped off a bunch more gravel. Can't really see it. Because of the dirty windows. A little bit darker clouds on this side. Uh, might get some rain. I don't know if it, it didn't say in the forecast. Had a little bit yesterday. I got a tiny bit of rain coming uh, back to the highway. Not today. We're going over 85. We're making a really good time. We're going to be up there probably the earliest we've been since the first couple days to get our second one. So we should be able to get three in today if all goes well. And we have another buddy helping us now too because they are producing and loading quicker than they have ever have. So 85 looks good. Um, so they have a lot of time. They had some downtime yesterday where they didn't have an empty because we were coming back. So they had three loaded and five trailer rotation so very blessing and then it's also it helps them to be more productive in the day so let's get back up to get another one they're both coming back up to get theirs too and we'll get one more loaded and roll back down 68 degrees we are out of the plant again by 10 uh before 10 so that is awesome sorry about the windshield guys we're getting some rain though we got that one bug that hit right after i cleaned the windshield all right, we're on round two. Let's get down there. Back on the scale, and we got some rain, guys. So our windshield's back to clean. Thank you, rain. 
Cut those bugs off. Let's see what our ladies are saying to us today. Is it ticket number? Is it customer number? Last time it was all the numbers. Turn it off for them. No problem, no problem. 316. They had their computers down for a little bit, but they finally got them back up. Just took, a, took about a minute and a half, no worries. We are back at it. We have two in front, and it looks like nobody's on a tipper, so we should be next. And they're dropping more gravel and more dirt. Okay, another day at the dump. I don't know what that guy up there is doing. He took a pretty, pretty bad angle. Two had to turn, turn the truck back a couple times to get it straight, but uh. Maybe it's because that truck over there is dropping gravel. He had to turn it, turn it pretty short. But hey, let's go get our staged and ready to go. Because the right one's open. This truck in front of you. Once this guy's done turn around, you should probably be going there. It is lunch time. They are picking up the boys, taking them uh, out to eat. Who knows where they're gonna eat at? Yesterday, the uh, owner of this whole place took uh, cooked for them. I asked the ladies in the front if it was good. They were like, it's all right. <laughs> I said, okay. I'm gonna use some of their new gravel. There you go. I don't know what they're building a ramp there or if they're using that as, as part of the dirt filling. I don't know how they do it. But the, they're both about done tipping. I'm gonna wait for the far one because it's just less of a turn for me to get lined up. have a little cement being poured, poured today. That truck has a red, white, and blue. The other truck's just all white. But they're the same company. AC. I don't know what that is, but yeah, pouring a new pad out there for somebody. There you go. Get some concrete. I need that at the lake. All in due time. Let's keep going. My goodness. Save the signs. 67 degrees and the truck's getting a little bit of a wash. Had a bunch of dust on the hood. So yeah, we got a little bit of a wash, nice slice. It's not even three o'clock yet and we are already on our way back. So that's awesome. We'll be done early today. Get back to the kids and then I might go grab one tonight if they need me to. Otherwise I'll just call it a weekend. So we shall see. But I'm um, grateful to get another three in this morning. Easy peasy, smooth sailings. dump before four o'clock awesome 445 is the cutoff if you're new to the channel my goodness and get one more probably um why not for saturday so my mom didn't come we'll get this one off first our buddy's behind us and there's one on the scale so that way for him and it's a little bit gloomy over there a little dark clouds a little dark and don't forget to check out southeast trailer mart for all your trailer needs Great guys, I got my dry van all fixed up whenever I needed to. About $250 for a retread tire. Already on the way, they just go in there and take off yours and they'll put that one on. Um, no problem, just give them a little heads up, call them up ahead of time because they do full roofs, they do axles, they do everything on the on the brakes. So if you need something done with your trailers, check them out. They do not pay me, I'm not sponsored by them. They are just good guys that live close to me. I let the ladies in the office. That was the quickest scale I'd ever have. Rolled up. Hey, Justin. Truck 316? Yep. Uh, what's your ticket number? This? All right, see you on the way back. It's crazy. It always changes, though. It's never like that. <laughs> yeah, a little busy. Two in front. One on a tipper and nobody on the other tipper. I don't know if it's broken or, or if they're doing something. Now it's not puppy dog friend. Oh, boy, wait. It's going to be fun to hang out with the boys for a couple days. No plans, figure out something, but if it's kind of rainy and gloomy like this, maybe we won't go to the apple orchard, but there's something. Gonna get out here and open this tarp. Uh, looks like they're just moving the gravel on in front of that other tipper over there so they can't get to it, I guess. Moving the gravel and that big dump is dumping some more dirt. No worries, I'm here. We're on time. Let's get 
to work. Let's go open that door. This truck's gonna need a full detail after this uh, little adventure. Oh yeah, she's dirty. So now that I've gotten all the way up here, some major improvements going on. It might uh, up our times here. They laid down some tarp, and now they're pushing the gravel onto it. So that tarp is holding, I guess, for water retention or whatever. And now this tipper down here, that's new. And my buddy just told me, you can see it actually has like a little enclosed thing. That tipper used to be down there. And then this tipper over here, there's where they're moving all the rock. And that tipper's probably gonna get pushed back now too because that tipper got pushed back. So we'll have three, hopefully, I don't know. Maybe they're working on one, I don't know, but that's pretty cool if we have three. But that's kind of an angle now, so I have to turn and come all the way back around to make it all the way back over there. Cool, cool though. Three tippers would be a uh, awesome upgrade. So now he's getting back in there. We'll turn around and our dog friend is playing with something as a toy. He's right behind that truck. <laughs> And they're moving this gravel somewhere. All right. Making new platforms for these tippers. There's our dog. He's got a new toy. <laughs> He's hanging out with all the heavy machinery. And that is a wrap on a Friday, guys the ear pods back in. I don't ever wear a headset. I never have for trucking. I think I did for like, I had like a little small generic blue pair one when I first started doing flatbed and then I broke, I never got another one. Ear pods, awesome. Cause they pick up your voice pretty dang good. And then, and, or air pods, whatever they call them. Um, I love them, so. <sighs> Say goodbye to our buddy. He's tipping right now. And then he'll go home too. And I might do one more, like I said, but it's cool. They got three tippers. I hope they keep them. I hope that maybe the right one broke. I don't know. They have a reserve. But he said they've never had three. It's always been two. But that right one has been messing up. So maybe that's why. I don't know. But hey, blessed, grateful. Three more in. Uh, paying the bills for, for the holidays. And that's great. And we're grateful for that. We just had that $2,800 tax bill on the lake property. We got renters there right now. They just checked in last night. So we're, we're, uh, we're blessed. We're happy. We're grateful. I pray you are too. I pray we're all praying for this economy. Praying for our country. Praying for overseas uh stuff that's going on and just good good winning out versus evil that's what i pray for good versus evil I, i'm always going to go for the good go for go for god go for good take one o out of good it's god there you go all right seat belt up turn and burn it is 4 35 so we should get home and enjoy these babies for friday night pretty cool looking little front lights on the uh bmw Little grill lights, not my thing, but yeah, okay. Let's get home. Home sweet home. Woo, it's rainy. Gonna let her sleep, and I think I'm gonna bring T Dubs with me to go get a load after I play with the boys for a little bit. Um, and prayers for one of our buddies, uh, a tire supplier for our diesel mechanic. Uh, he had a brain aneurysm today, so my buddy texted me that and praying for him because it's not looking good. So please keep him in your prayers. Well, for now, guys, old Red Wheels is tried and true. She's the only one that's operational. I have to weld on the sway bar bracket on the passenger side, which completely just broke in half. Broke, not the weld, just the bracket broke. Custom lift, though, so it needs to be doubled up anyway, so I'll do that. Probably do it to both sides. And the Escalade is not holding air, so I tried to fix it last night a little bit, grind it and do some welding, but aluminum is hard to weld. So we're gonna take the professionals and get that thing uh, nice and tight. So $180, they're gonna take the tire off, get the bend out of it and uh, re-weld it. So yeah, poor. I looked up these uh, wheels, and not just, not the wheels and tires, but the, the tire I already ordered, it's 160 because this one has a little bubble in it. But these wheels and tires, I paid maybe 1200 for them two years ago, just to get one wheel now, $500, $2,000 now. So went up, what, almost 50%? <laughs> those same wheels so everything's going up guys the distributor cap should be here or not distributor cap the coil should be here soon for that motor and then uh got some more fine tuning to do with those carbs there's little tiny pins on the sides that you can adjust for the idle and it's tricky because that's a blower car so but it was running great it does run great i just want to make sure i'm going to redo the plugs and the coil 
which the coil might actually be right there. I'm not sure. And this is, this is the steps for the FLD. We might go over there tomorrow after we drop this load. See if the guys are working on Saturday, which you usually are. We can check in on the FLD tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, a couple things going, but good old Red Wheels holding it down for us. Thank you, Red Wheels. Let's see what these kids are doing. And T-dubs. That, in fact, was not the coil. It was one of those mounts uh, that I've been using now that eliminates seeing the mount. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, tick, tick. Oh, tick, tick. It smells good in here. I don't know. Uh-oh. Looks like we broke a, broke a tie rod here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My goodness. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I think Braylon's over here because I don't know whose phone that is. Hey, Tiki, Tiki, I got you, buddy. I got you. Okay, got you. Come on. It's cold out there, buddy. Where's your buddy Murphy at? Oh, and T-Dub's got one of these things today, guys. Those robot uh, floor cleaners. I wonder, I wonder how Tiki likes that. Let's see who these babies are. Oh, man. She made me some barbecue chicken. That is not for you, Tiki. not for you. That's for Dada. What are you doing out there? Oh, well, I'm training him. <laughs> I didn't see you out there. Thanks for my barbecue. You're training this little one? Yeah. This morning he was peeing on the pad. Well, yeah. Oh, he else. So. Oh. Hmm. We take him out every hour and we give him a treat. He's going to be outside like a good boy. Well, you did. You did. Did he pee? Yeah. Good boy. He's such a. Look how wet his legs get. I know. <laughs> what do you think, Tiggs? Thanks for that chicken. Oh, you're welcome. Who's you're over? Good. Whose phone is that, Bray? Bray. Braylon? Braylon's our friend from up there, like four houses up the street. Are they all up there? Yep. Hmm. Anya was here earlier. <laughs> What's up, crazy? Anya was here earlier? I like your outfit, man. What's up, dude? I like your outfit, too. What's up? Braylon's having a sleepover. Man, oh. We're not having a sleepover? Okay, never mind. Just cancel that idea. I like your hair, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, uh, it looks like it's broken. You broke a tie rod on that thing or something? A little bit of off-roading? Oh, goodness. Where's Cash? Upstairs. Man, that chicken's good. And uh, got a couple extra pumpkin loaves going. One for the uh, ladies at the uh, at the dump? Yes. Actually, I'm going to make theirs on uh, Sunday. Oh, that was, for, that was for yeah. Papa? For my dad for you. Papa said that his is really good, so he wanted another He one. said it was like crack. <laughs> He goes, it's like crack, I need it. I, I need more pumpkin bread. Yeah. Yes, Braylon. Yeah. On the spot. What is it? The spider. Jason loves these things. Oh, look at me. I want one. Can I try it? Can I see 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 it? Well, Can Murphy was trying to eat them, so please take care of him. But on that note, guys, I'm trying to find cash somewhere. Oh, there he is. They play and then they don't clean. Story of my life, buddy. What do you have, kids? They leave me alone, but I have to do they? Them. What are you playing chess? No, I'm missing three pieces, though. Oh, really? Better find them. Did you win? No, I can't. I bet you can't. I bet you can't beat Braylon. Oh, uh, I'm pretty good at chess. You want to try to beat Braylon? Um, he beat me, and I even beat you. Really? You know, that's checkers. This is chess. It's a whole different ball game. No, he pulled this. Ah. Oh, we have to use some of these pieces. Yeah. Is he on me? Yeah. I don't know. But make sure, yeah, let's, why don't you keep him downstairs? Jason, keep him downstairs, please. Where's he at? He's on your shoulder. Okay. Were you guys playing chess, Braylon, or are you playing checkers? I won, I won both of them. What? Yeah. I kind of want to hold him now. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to hold him to spider. Go hold him downstairs then, Cash. Do these things bite? No. No, just dead alone, Mike. Yeah. That's me. Okay. We need to get this going, guys. I spent a bunch of money for this. I have to get a better soundboard. Can I have my spider? I don't know where he's at. Okay, let's take turns with him. Yeah. But yeah, wish me luck with that, guys. If you have any suggestions for a better soundboard, the one I bought was just a cheap one. Okay, show me your front flip. Uh, it was just it too much feedback, guys. Way too much feedback. And it has only so many ends, so... Let me know what, you should, what I should use. I do have the ATEM. I have all the HD cameras. Yes. How do I get a hold of spider? Go, Casey. Can he hold the spider? Go downstairs and hold it. Yeah. All right, show me it. Show me it. Whoa. 
Good job. But on that note, guys. And we will see you. Oh my goodness, with spiders.